Dearest brothers and sisters, greetings of the Most High. We come forward now in this great moment of your time with much news to share with you, ever-evolving humanity. This Ascension report is being birthed and brought through to you all on the 2nd of January, 2021. Beloveds, we would like to take a moment now just to put some things into perspective with regards to the monumental year of 2020. On the surface, it may seem as though it was a very chaotic year, and it may seem as though the forces of darkness were running amok with humanity. But may it be shouted from the furthest rooftops, the head of the deep state monster was cut off in 2017. Here we are referring to the highest echelons of the deep state pyramidic structure. What we have been witnessing in 2020 is the lower echelons of the pyramidic monster doing their utmost to harvest as much loosh as possible from humanity. Loosh refers to fear energy that humans feel. Most of the deep state players that have been on our screens in 2020 are not even real. Most of them have left the planet or are in Gitmo. All of this will be revealed shortly and it is important that it is reiterated again that the movie that was 2020 was played out in order to awaken the vast amount of sleepers on planet Earth. We know this as the White Hats had control of the looking glass technology from the Roswell crash in 1945 and were able to know what is ahead in the higher dimensional chess game that is being played. As many of you are aware, the depth of density within third dimensional consciousness on planet Earth has been shocking to the awakened ones. This is why the White Hat Earth Alliance has been using CGI technology, clones, body doubles and all sorts so that the bad players could read from their own White Hat script. This has been in order to expose the tyrannical agenda of the deep state puppets, that humanity may once and for all be awoken from their long deep slumber. This plan has been working and there are many, many brothers and sisters that have awoken in this year of 2020. And we can honestly say that humanity's collective consciousness is very close to reaching a critical mass of awakened souls. To all of you who are reading these words, thank you so much for being true to yourself, for remaining authentic, for not being a sheep for being like a lion and walking in this world with great courage and zero need for approval from third dimensional caterpillar consciousness humans. Please know that every one of you that stands true to yourself, you are making a huge contribution unconsciously to many of the brothers and sisters who will walk past you wearing their masks. The fact that you are not wearing your mask shows them that it is possible for them to also not adhere to the wishes of their tyrannical governments who are simply acting in this way to awaken them. The energies are now massively building up to the 11-1 portal. In the 11-1 portal we are being called to come together in our large global ascension groups in order to accelerate the timeline whereby all off-planet technology is released back to humanity. It is absolutely imperative that humanity now has access particularly to the med beds. The current allopathic medicine practices have been nothing short of barbaric, except of course in emergency situations whereby allopathic medicine is somewhat appropriate. But on the whole, the cutting and chopping and general philosophy of allopathic medicine has been deeply and utterly barbaric towards humanity and this must be corrected and this will be corrected via the med beds. The med beds are off-planet technology that have been used on space stations and also in the moon colonies for quite some time. If you do a little bit of research, you will find that this technology has been made available, but only for an extremely selective part of humanity. But this is all on the precipice of shifting, dearest brothers and sisters. It is so important that we all come together to anchor this timeline Last night I was very blessed to experience the 11.11 transmission, the 11.1 transmission, and it was so powerful and so moving. 
In the 11-1 transmission, we are also being guided to work with the higher self of all police officers who are devoting their lives to the premise of following inhumane and irrational orders from their seniors. This is unacceptable in this stage of the planet's ascension and it is absolutely imperative that we get as many brothers and sisters in the police force aligned with their soul consciousness as possible. This is something that has been preordained and all of the police officers that we will be working with have signed up to receive this blessing. Also on the 11-1 transmission, we will be sending a very powerful blessing of courage to the divine masculines who are struggling to remember the glory of their fifth dimensional love story and have chosen to settle for third dimensional karmic relationships. The reason why we are being called to work so closely with this group of divine masculines is that unless they take heed of the messages that the universe is giving them, the universe will have to shout louder and louder to get their attention. This could happen in the form of illness or accidents or very dramatic incidences. This is something that we can avoid by doing this work on the higher dimensional planes to support the masculines to let go of these contracts that are no longer serving them. We will also be working with huge twin flame blessings for the collective, linking up the timeline of Lemuria, Atlantis and 5D Gaia through the sacred union of the twins. Dearest ones, it is so important that we are all reminded of the enormous power that is activated when we come together to align our attention and intention with Mother Father God's will. We are each micro versions of the universe, i.e. God in human form, which means our consciousness is all powerful. When we gather with another soul in unified intention, this does not equate to one plus one. This actually equates to one to the power of one. So as we all gather in our large ascension groups on portal dates such as this, the power that we activate is absolutely unfathomable to us with our human consciousness. Suffice to say, this is how universes are created. Brothers and sisters, we are so grateful to be part of this amazingly powerful Ascension community. And I, Jen, am so looking forward to publishing my book on the 14th of February, Valentine's Day. The book will be such an incredible dot connector for so many of you and I so look forward to sharing this powerful sacred scripture with you all. It is my deepest prayer that you remember that the fifth dimensional party that your soul is seeking is forever taking place in the present moment of now, which is also known as the zero point field. You may think you are searching for a guru, a teacher or a twin flame, but what you are really searching for is to be present in this moment. Therefore, I would highly recommend committing to a spiritual practice now on the second day of 2021 that will enable you to prioritize present moment awareness over the push and pull and rise and fall of all temporary thought forms. The quickest way to make God do a happy dance is to simply relax. Give all of your burdens back to our creator self and enter into what could be termed vacation mode. Whenever we do that, we make Mother Father God do a great and wonderful happy dance. And this is what this journey is all about. I hope and pray that you gain inspiration from this message. And I very, very much look forward to gathering with all of you on the 11-1 New Earth Transmission. In love and light, Gen G and the White Wolf Tribe. The 11-1 New Earth Transmission will take place on the 11th of January at 8.21 p.m., also known as 20.21 p.m. UK time. In the 11.1 portal, we are being called to come together in our large global ascension groups in order to accelerate the timeline whereby all off-planet technology is released back to humanity. It is absolutely imperative that humanity now has access particularly to the med beds. The current allopathic medicine practices have been nothing short of barbaric. The med beds are off-planet technology that have been used on space stations and also in the moon colonies for quite some time. It is so important that we all come together to anchor this timeline. In this transmission we are also being guided to work with the higher self of all police officers who are devoting their lives to the premise of following inhumane and irrational orders from their seniors. We will also be sending a very powerful blessing of courage to the, to the divine masculines 
who are struggling to remember the glory of their fifth dimensional love story and have chosen to settle for third dimensional karmic relationships. We will also be working with huge twin flame blessings for the collective, linking up the timeline of Lemuria, Atlantis and 5D Gaia through the sacred unions of the twins. When you sign up, you will receive a PDF under the name Selfie. Please make sure that you download the PDF as soon as you sign up. This is an automatic procedure that happens when you sign up. However, if you pay by donation, please email me at cosmicgypsy33 at gmail.com and I, Jen, will send you the PDF file manually. In love and eternal light, Jen G and the White Wolf Tribe. <laughs>